last one, we're going to simplify by removing perfect squares and then combining like terms. So we have 5 square root of 32 and to the 4th minus 10 square root 18 and to the 4th. And it tells us what to do first. We're going to simplify. Oops, that's me. Simplify over here any perfect square factors. So 32 has some perfect squares in there. Think if you can divide by 4. Yeah, 4 times 8. And then you can keep going. 8 has a perfect square. 4 times 2. And then m to the 4th also is perfect square. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times 4 times 2 and I'm going to break up my m to the 4th as m squared. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing here. So minus 10 and then 18 is 9 times 2 and 9 is a perfect square. So 9 times 2 then m squared m squared. So let's start taking square roots. I have a 5. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 4 is 2. And then this 2 is still left in the square root. Dang it. Square root of m squared is just m. Square root of m squared is just m. Minus 10. The square root of 9 is 3. This 2 is left in the square root. m squared, square root of m squared, square root of m squared is m. So let's combine some terms here. I have 5 times 2 times 2. 20. And then I have 2 m's, that's m squared. And then I still have a square root of 2. Minus 10 times 3 is 30. m times m is m squared, and I still have a square root of 2. Okay, now we're going to subtract. <clears throat> so look, these are the same. That means I can subtract. So I'm taking what's out front. 20m squared minus 30m squared, and then square root of 2 just comes along with it. So 20 minus 30 is negative 10 and when we subtract things with variables they just stay the same. So it's still m squared and it's still square root of 2.